I'm going to explain the AV sheet setup here. So first of all, here on the left, the Macintosh is a test video that I found on the internet that will play audio and video in various, varying degrees of synchronization. First, it starts off with them out of sync, then they gradually get into sync, then eventually they get out of sync again in the other direction. So I'll show you what this looks like, first of all, on the Macintosh. And you can see there's a flash of light together with sound. And uh, there's a frame counter at the bottom of the screen that shows how much they're out of sync. Eventually, this will hit zero, and then it will go the other direction. Um, so that's a test file. And it's in MP4 for format, which is great, because then we can transcode it into other various formats. Uh, I'll pause this here, because that's not really relevant on Macintosh. Next, uh, I took that file and moved it over to a prime, which is over here. And then I built a little circuit here that uses a photodiode and a Darlington transistor amplifier to amplify it. And then it goes into a little 555 um, oscillator circuit and a uh, light. And basically, it makes a sound every time that it sees a flash of light. And it also produces a, a signal that you could tap into with an oscilloscope. Um, so with this approach, you can either um, by hooking up the uh, microphone uh, uh, to the um, speaker uh, of the prime, or just tapping directly into the um, prime line level out, you could see the audio signal. Uh, I prefer the mic approach because that way you can actually um, uh, see what uh, what the audio is actually coming out of the speaker. Uh, in case there's latency between line level and the uh, speaker on device. Um, and then with this uh, photo diode circuit, you can uh, get a signal that you can put into a scope to, to see whenever there's a flash of light. Um, however, by using this audio oscillator here, we can actually listen to the flash of light. And with that approach, uh, you don't even need really an oscilloscope. You can just listen to the two sounds, the sound that comes out of the prime and then the sound that comes out of this oscillator that indicates when it's seen the flash of light. And with that approach, uh, you can also compare the signals. And then the other approach is just used to test video directly and just eyeball it and look for synchronization that way, which is also a reasonable approach to get frame accuracy, frame accurate results. The oscilloscope is really the only way to get subframe accuracy. So let me show you what it looks like now in operation. Uh, the circuit is turned on. It's waiting for light. If there was light, we would hear a, uh, a beep. Uh, so just to show that that really works, I'm going to move this over and point the LED at some light. And you can see the red LED comes on, and then you can also hear the sound. So I'll move it into the center of the screen, because that's where the, the square of light will appear. And next, what I'm going to do is start a video playing. I'm using ADB here to start it. And it's the exact same video. And what you should hear now is um, two beeps. One beep that comes from the light sensor, and then the other beep, which is the part of the AV sync test on the phone. Now, in this particular test, for this use case, this is an MP4, I'm actually noticing very little AV sync problem, um, maybe one frame at most, which is not that bad. Um, so that's it. Uh, let me do one more thing and show you the actual circuit. So again, here's the circuit. Um, and in the very front, the clear uh, thing that looks like an LED is actually a photo diode or photo transistor, which goes into a, uh, a Darlington transistor to amplify, or amplify it. And then that uh, becomes the gate on a 555 uh, timer oscillator and controls whether or not it oscillates or not. And then that gate also goes into an LED so you can uh, see when it's going off. 
and that's basically it.